Welcome everyone. I haven't been traveling in a couple weeks, so you've been seeing me do a lot of home vlogs. And one of the things I really like to do is test out different things in my air fryer. So today, we're going to see how well it does with cheeseburgers. Welcome everyone, I'm Mark, this is the Average Me Channel, and you heard right, I am going to try cheeseburgers in my air fryer. I mean, let's face it, I didn't get this body by chomping down kale leaves and alfalfa sprouts. Let's see how this works. Now I've already made up my hamburger patties, and I put those in the refrigerator overnight. I mixed in an egg that helps to hold them together. I'm going to put some spices on them, and then we'll put them in the air fryer. I'll start by seasoning the patty. I'm just going to use Italian seasoning. You can probably hear the air fryer warming up in the background. I mean, who makes better food than the Italians? A little bit of that. Make sure that it's embedded in there. A little more on this side. Okay, let's get some of that on the edges of the burger as well. In addition to that, I'll put on a little salt and pepper. Not too much. No, no, no. I was watching Gordon Ramsay and between swear words, he was putting vegetable oil on the patties before grilling them. So I'm going to give that a try. I don't have anything to drizzle it. So I'm just going to spread it on the patty with my fingers. You'll notice I'm only making one hamburger patty here. I'm going to test this and I don't want to ruin a whole pound of ground beef. And here it goes into the fryer. And we're going to set that at 400 degrees. And I'm going to go for about four and a half minutes aside. You can't set a half minute, so I'll set it at four minutes. Now when that patty's done, I'm going to set it aside for a minute and I'm going to toast the bun inside the air fryer as well. So let's get that ready. And this is something you simply cannot do while holding a camera with one hand. So I'll do it through the magic of editing. It looks like it's time to turn that patty over. Ooh, that looks delicious. Flip it over. And let's put it in for another four. And of course, I'm from Wisconsin, so we are going to use real cheddar cheese. None of that processed stuff for me. So I'm going to rest that cheese on the patty. And it says there's two minutes left. But I'm not going to put it on for the rest of those two minutes because it looked pretty well cooked. I'm just going to let it sit in there and let the cheese melt. Now it's a little greasy in there, but I'm going to put our buns face down right on top of that. And we'll let that go for one minute. But doesn't that look delicious? It didn't quite toast up as much as I wanted, but I'm hungry. So we're gonna put on our condiments, a little bit of ketchup. I'm gonna use a little bit of mayonnaise. And I'm gonna stir that together a little bit. I know it's not the usual thing that you do with a burger. But there we go. Yumbo. And some lettuce on top of that. And top it off. Now I don't like my burgers to be pink or red. I like them well done. So this took six minutes at 400 and there's just a little bit of pink in there, but for the most part, it's just how I like it. But the real test is the taste. That is delicious. There it is, one more thing. My air fryer cheeseburger is just perfect. I put it in there for 
six minutes at 400 if you like yours a little more rare reduce the time I hope you enjoyed this video as always I encourage you to like and share the videos leave your comments down below if you haven't already please subscribe by clicking my face down there in the corner and ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos thanks for watching everyone I'm Mark and this is the Average Me channel